Hey guys, and welcome back to Clayfield. We are in the main hood in front of a tiny little apartment building, and today we are going to decorate Lexi Bigfoot's apartment. As you can see, the, the apartment is close to the beach, right there behind the uh, rocks. You can see sailboats and there's also a brand new houseboat area right in the back there. Uh, in this apartment building also lives Gina. We haven't seen her yet in the episodes, but Gina novel is a girl who got uh, pregnant by Johnny Smith. And she lives here with her little uh, toddler. And Lexi moved in here from the BNB with little Kara, who she adopted from the orphanage in a previous episode. And let's see inside. So it's a uh, one by one by two lot. And this is Lexi's apartment. It's very small. There is just barely room um, for two sims. So this is going to be the nursery. And this is going to be... Uh, wait a second. This here is going to be uh, Lexi's bedroom. And the nursery is right here. And downstairs there's a bathroom and a tiny kitchen and this is going to be a um, combined living room and a dining room area. So we don't have much to work with but let's see what uh, we can do with this space. I uh, I made this a lot myself, and I usually use uh, just plain white uh, walls because it uh, just seems so realistic to me. At least in my apartment, uh, the walls are just plain white stone walls, uh, painted stone walls. And first, I will uh, remove the white walls and let's see I don't have any specific ideas for this lot or this apartment yet so let's see let's go go with port walls first I think um Yeah, uh, as you can see here in Lexi's bio, she loves the color blue. So I think uh, her apartment is going to have a quite a lot of blue in it. So let's see what... Nope. Hmm. That's okay. Actually, I think um, there's some. This is going to take forever. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just downloaded some uh, new bricks. They are uh, recolored by Lipe 2K. And you can see there's a Tumblr address in the description. And these are Maxis Lando bricks in several um, recolors. And they are quite nice. 
but I don't know if this is the right look. I do tend to just uh, pick something and stick it right to the walls. Um, I don't usually like to think about uh, too long, you know, because I just want to get to the playing part. So let's go with that. I think that this wall, this wall here could be a different color. Hmm. I'm trying some contrasting colors here. Let's see. Mm, I don't think so. Let's see wallpapers. I do have some um, wallpapers that go well um, in the kitchen. Hmm. Nope. Here. No, they are not the right color. Okay, this is going to take forever. <laughs> so I'm just uh, going to pause and select a wall. So I'll be back in just a second. So I picked this yellow. Um, This yellow uh, wall here, it's um, actually my own color, and yikes, I forgot to uh, put my name in the description here. But anyway, um, it's a recolor of Max's wall, and I think it makes it... Um, look a little a little bit more interesting with that contrast here and there's also some yellow on this wall so yeah it looks a little bit more cheerful this way okay so that's the kitchen area and that's
shower quite a lot. I think Not the Sims. So you can um, check if you can find uh, this shower there, or you can just Google it. You can see the uh, shower's name here and just Google huge lunatic. Okay. And pure white toilet. Put a um, quarter tile of cheat on, and there you go. So the bathroom is ready. I don't usually add too much to it, just basics. And let's see here. I have to see if I am going to change the uh, floors. I actually like this floor. It's one of the one of Max's basic wood floors. I think here um, in Lexi's bedroom we could go with um, wallpaper. <laughs> this is cute. Cupcakes. But I don't know. Maybe not for her. Uh, that's too plain for this room. I kind of like this. But, hmm, I don't know. It's an option. Nope. Mm, I'm trying to keep the theme with the blues and maybe some orange or yellow. I have so many wallpapers and still I feel like I don't have nearly enough. I could always use some more. But I'm sure that's it. Uh, many of us simmers probably feel that way. <laughs> you can always use more. Nope. I think I'll go with this one. This is cute. It has some uh, furniture 
in it and although it does look to me more green than uh, blue but anyway I'll go with that one and then the nursery I have a lot of um, cute wallpapers for uh, nurseries I actually collect them so let's see what would be a nice wall for Kara's room Oh my goodness, <laughs> little piggies! This is so so fun. I have to cho choose this one. <laughs> uh, this is this wallpaper is uh, made by Kaput Gelit at Live Journal. You can see her name here. She used to do a lot of. Um, wallpapers and I'm not sure if sh if she still makes them but you can check if uh, if there are some wallpapers on her live journal now there was some trouble with um, her using some patterns earlier and she took quite a lot of her stuff down so I'm not sure if she still has them but, but anyway this is really cute little piggies <laughs> I just have to go with this one okay so next let's check the floors and at least let's start at the bottom floor I use a lot of um, wood floors although I could download some more I still don't have enough hmm let's see nope Can you see that I really don't have enough uh, wood floors? Okay. I think I'll just go with this Max's wall, uh, Max's floor. And maybe some carpet for the nursery. Let's see. I do have some um, pretty nice carpets. And actually, some of the Maxis carpets are not too bad. Although, that is pretty bad. Hmm. Nope. 
not quite there yet. Let's go with that one. So now we have floors and walls. So let's go to decorating. I usually like to give my scenes um, an end table here next to the door so they can uh, put the newspapers and all that stuff there so let's see That's okay. So let's go with that one. And let's see the kitchen. It's really basic. Like, really basic. So she could use a sink. I like to use this one. It's by Forever Sim Fantasy because it has that little this little thing. <laughs> I don't know how to call this. Anyway, it looks neat. It looks like a kitchen sink. There's a dress composter, and this is by Buggy Boos, the kitchen basic dress composter, and I like how it looks. And although it looks better there, I think. Yeah, and let's see. I really like this food processor. This is by Tolly at Simgedons. Little chopping board and a little uh, dining table. Oh wow, <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, I have used this um, pets table for like forever and I just now realized that it actually has some recolors by default. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. So let's see, where this would work best. Hmm. There. And some chairs. They don't need um, much space for the table and chairs since they are only Lexi and Kara living in, living in here. How about this one? Yeah, 
it goes with the blue walls and this chair is from Holy Simoli and the recolors are made by Anna at Life Journal so that's the kitchen and dining room and now a tiny little living room area 